All right, Fallout 4. This is just going to be a weapons comparison. Now, the harder you play it, the more legendary weapons and armor you're going to get. This, here, I've kept every legendary weapon that I've found. And as you can see, there's a lot. Now, all your companions have a base weapon that they will always use, or you can you can give them a weapon. I'm going to show you the one I give Nick, or basically the one I use. Um, I was using the Radical Conversion that I found because it ignores 30%, but then I found this one which on Far Harbor, which the bullets explode and impact, and it does 179 damage, and it's got 50% radiation damage. So that's, that's a pretty good weapon, too, and it's a 45, and 45 is pretty uh, plentiful ammo. So... That's always good. I always give him at least 1,500 rounds. So, All ears. that's a good companion weapon. Now, out of all the weapons, we're going to start here. The pro three primary weapons for heavy-duty hits. A Gauss rifle, probably one of the best weapons for doing the most damage. And depending on what your play style is, I prefer I've got everything stacked for sneak. So, uh, sneak attacks on a crippling Gauss rifle, I can almost take down a death claw with one shot, with a headshot. <laughs> so, now the secondary weapon, 308. This is probably one of the best. Um,. Damage is 217. All right. Then, 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 then the secondary one here is the two shot, 10 millimeter, which is 10 millimeter is quite. I mean, you can get the, you can get this everywhere. So it's good weapon to have. Now the two shots basically do additional damage. Now we're going to show you here, oh, it's 118 damage, we're going to go down to, there's a 10 millimeter, just so uh, this is a legendary, the only difference here is it adds 10 points of energy damage and turns enemies into goo, with all my stats and everything else, it's 24. Um, but as you can see, it only does 74 damage in comparison to 118. Yes, it does have an additional 24 damage, but still, that's lower than 118 for that. Now, there's two other weapons I want to talk about. There's the Deliverer, which when you do the Railroad, this is the weapon that you pick up. A lot of people are like, oh, this is one of the best, you know, this is this is even better. It's a 10 millimeter. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Well, does 103 damage. Yes, it's got an improved fats hit chance and it costs 25 less action points. But in the long scheme of things, it doesn't make much of a difference. Now, one of the most powerful weapons, handguns, that you can get, alien blaster pistol. Now, I have converted this to the fusion cell, which you can use the alien, you can use the alien uh, ammo, but the most I think I got was like 510 rounds. You play this a while, you're going to go through that and boom, now, you, now you've got no alien, so you'll have to switch over anyways. And it's not that much of a difference. I think it's like 100 and 28 for the damage in, in comparison to 124. It is lighter. Um, that weighs 6.4. That only weighs 3.6. Range is 305. That's only 134. I mean, yeah, 
the stats on this are pretty impressive. It's, you know, a lot um, more, it's, you know, it's a little more powerful. Not by much. This is 118, 124. So it's only six points more. Now, so why do I go with the two shot? Now for um, stat wise, I've got everything off. I'm wearing no equipment. Now I do have, I have maxed out. I did 10 on everything. Um, then I went and got all the Bob, you know, I got all my perceptions, all my primary traits. I maxed them out at 10. Then I went around and got all the bobbleheads. And then I've also have other perks and everything else. And this is my stats. But it doesn't matter because whatever your stats are, these weapons go in the game. So now, here's the alien. We're going to start out with the alien blaster pistol. Now you've got an impressive 63 rounds. The Deliverer only carries 16. And the two shot does 24. Alright, now here is where it gets funky. Now if you like to shoot from the hip, then you're going to want to go with the alien pistol converted to the fusion. But if you use VATS, which pretty much everybody does, watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get seven shots in VATS, that's it. That's all you get. Deliverer. Sixteen shots in the deliverer. Now that's what everybody's like. Oh, you get sixteen shots with the deliverer, yeah. Which is not too bad. Again, no. You only have 16 shots. Now the one that I use all the time, which is the two shot. You've got 24 rounds. Fifteen shots in vats for the pistol. So it's one under the deliverer. You carry more ammo. The deliverer only does 103. The two shot does 118. So hand, pound for pound, the two shot 10 millimeter pistol is so far, at least until I get one of, until I get the uh, if I ever find the uh, 10 millimeter pistol with the never ending. That's the one you want for a 10 millimeter pistol. So there are the pistols. This is the two-shot 10mm pistol is probably the best one that you can get for a, for a handgun. Pound for pound, yes, it's not as powerful as the Alien. Um, but overall, it, it is probably the better one to have. <clears throat> and even on very hard, this thing will... You could take down a Mile or a Queen with this pistol. And I have. <laughs> Just to try it, I've taken down a Mirelur Queen. Just using this pistol. Alright, had to reload. Now, let's do... Let's look at the Gloss Rifle. Now, the Gloss Rifle does 463. The only problem with the Gloss Rifle... You got 20 rounds... Remember, no armor. With different sets, you can get more, but this only does three shots with the gloss. But, 
Those are pretty much three heavy duty shots. All right, in comparison, let's bring this up here. So you get three shots, but like I said, the Gauss rifle does the most amount of damage for a base, and you can sit there. You trying to get someone killed? And you can load that up for a better, for another one. Shit. Bring this back. <laughs> now, in the DLC, there is, where is it? There is a weapon that you can get. It's called Old Reliable. It's a 4570, which does an impressive 272 damage. All right. Where is my... There it is. So now the Overseer's Guardian, in comparison to that, does 217. So this does 272. This is probably, because it shoots an additional projectile, this is probably, I would say, the second most powerful weapon rifle that I found in the game other than the Gloss. But there's a problem with it. Here's Old Reliable. It only does five rounds. And it only does four for VATS. So it's only a five round weapon and it does four in VATS. Now, we're going to compare this. Now, here's a Mutant Slayer. This does a little bit better. This is a 308. It's got 10 rounds. This only does three, though. But if we go to the Overseer's Guardian, 40 rounds. And it does four shots in vats. So, you get more, va more vats. You've got 40 rounds, which, if you're using this and you're free firing from the hip, 40 rounds is a lot better. I mean, sometimes you're going to sit there and you're backing up and just firing. You don't, you can't be, a, you can't do the VAT system. So there's the there's a 308. This does this is just a standard 308. Does 132. In comparison to the Overseer's Garden, which does 217. Right. Range 185, accuracy 113. So, um, so, so the top three weapons: Gauss rifle, Overseer's Guardian, two-shot 10 millimeter pistol. Alien Blaster, like I said, it's a little bit more, but you get less vats and less ammo. So, those are the top three weapons. Goss, and you're going to find different ones depending on, I mean, there's other Goss rifles out there. Ultimately, the really, I'm waiting to find, I don't know if I'll, if it's out there, um, Plasma and Flu, it would be nice to have a uh, Plasma. <laughs> And then it adds adds plasma damage or radiation, which would be nice. All right. Uh, deliverer, eh, like I said, I, I just didn't really get into that too much. So, Gauss Rifle, anyone will do and boost it up. And mind you, all these have been, I've got them all stacked out highest capacities overseer's guardian i mean that's the first one first thing you want to do when you get through when you get in this is get the overseer's guardian this weapon will help you regardless um no matter what your level is and when you boost this thing up 
And like I said, I mean, you may not like the long scope. You may like the recon scope. But whatever. It doesn't matter. That doesn't really change much on it. Bottom line is it gives you 40 rounds. Gives you the most in VATS. And the damage is 217. And if you combine that with different perks, this can this sometimes is almost a one-shot kill weapon too. Um... Not on the really big beast, but most anything else, especially with the headshots. Pistol is, depending on what it is, oops, darn it. Definitely with the lower weapon uh, enemies like ghouls, feral ghouls, even some humans, this thing is pretty, uh, pretty good. And the nice thing about it, like I said, is the VAT system. 15 rounds with this 10 shot. So, the deliver does 16, gives you one more, but it only carries 16 rounds. Alright, so there you go. That is the uh, weapons. Those would be the uh, top weapons to use. Before I forget, I'm going to put my healing pistol. Oh. Okay. So long ones. There we go. Just little different things. Now for melee weapons, if you're going to go melee weapons, that's probably one of the best ones to get right there, Gronix Axe. Plus it looks really cool. But like I said, I'm not into I'm not into the rail uh, into that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna throw this back in. And again, like I said, I mean, now I didn't talk about shotguns. Um, let's pull up the shotgun. I'm not going to go into melee weapons. Um, like I said, I'm not really doing melee. Um, this one I used until I got the Overseers because it does 50% more limb damage. But again, 132, 217. So. Let's see, shotgun. Um, I mean, the assault rifles aren't too bad. It depends, like I said. I mean, it's 125, 217. You know, for me, it's all about the most amount of damage that I can do in one shot here. Uh, let's see, 50% more damage against humans. I mean, I didn't talk about shotguns because I don't really use the shotgun. We'll do it real quick, though, here. So, on a shotgun, you got 32 rounds. Four shots in vats. Now, the nice thing about a shotgun, though, um, they actually use the same psychics. If you're going... Shotgun is good for up close and personal. But, again, 200, Overseer's Guardian is 217. <laughs> if you haven't gotten the Overseer's, pick up a shotgun. you got to get a little close. The closer you are, the better damage it does. So, again, and then you look at the weight, 21.8, 22. So, if you're going to carry... Would you prefer something that does 200 damage and only has 4? Or would you prefer something that does 217 and you get more vats? You get 5 in vats. So again, that's why. And then heavy heavy weapons. I, I've not used heavy weapons, so no melees. I'm not certain what the harpoon is. Um, 
Harpoon is kind of cool, but the only issue with the harpoon gun... Now, this is a Far Harbor DLC. You got one shot. I mean... <laughs> You got three vats. But it only does one shot. So it's like, eh. And again, 181 in comparison to the 217. So. Some of them are fun. I mean, like I said, I have done most of these weapons, tried them out. And Goss, Overseer's Garden, and a two shot 10 millimeter. If you haven't got the 10 shot 10 millimeter, then get the Deliverer and use There's that no until you get it. Blood if the person ain't um, it. You get us, that by doing the, the railroad railroads. Rides. And I highly recommend doing the railroad. As soon as you get it, do the railroad because there's. I'm going to go into that. I'm doing armor next. So. All right. So we're going to end this. This is going to be the weapons. We'll end on a shot of my green red vim 